Welcome to my PlayStation 2 collection. I thought I'd show all of the PlayStation 2 games that I actually own. I've been collecting PlayStation 2 for 16 years. I got my first PlayStation 2 back in 2005 for Christmas of that year and I love the system ever since. It was actually my very first uh, gaming console. Uh, not counting the PC of course, but yeah, so I'm here to show all the games I have. Here we go. Time Splitters. This is a classic. This is the very first one. And it's actually one of the oldest PlayStation 2 games that I've actually, uh, that I own. It's from 2000. So I think it's like one of the earliest PS2 games too. Uh, very good game. Good per first person shooter game. Super fun. Uh, you actually unlock more stuff like the harder the difficulty is. And you gotta get through, uh, levels faster. Pretty good challenge. There's the manual and the disc. I owned a, a older copy of the disc, but the disc scratched up and was unplayable. But uh, this one works fine. Yeah, I recommend Time Splitters. I I don't have Time Splitters two or three, but I will get those. My friend likes the Time Splitters series, so yeah. True Crime Streets of L.A. This is the first uh, true crime game uh, that I have for the PS2. I got this for like dirt cheap. Uh, no, I did not get it at Blockbuster. I got it at like some game store, mom, mom pop game store. I like this one. It's not as fun as True Crime New York City, but still really good. There are some parts that were kind of a pain though. Like where you have to drive through and you have to like get through like this one you have to follow this one car without getting caught. Those are kind of a pain, but the other stuff, usually pretty fun. They were really fun. Here's the manual and the disc. And it has a blockbuster case in it. Very good game. If you can find this for a good price, get it. Star Lego Star Wars. Probably one of my favorite uh, Star Wars video games of all time. This is actually what really started the whole thi uh, Lego games based on like uh, movies and stuff like that. This was the first one, I think. Not if you count that crappy, you know, Harry Potter Lego game from like the early 2000s. But this is the one that really perfected the whole thing. I got the greatest hits version because it was pressed on DVD. The original was pressed on a CD. So I recommend this version. It's a more compatible. Had a lot of fun playing this back in the day. I remember the commercials for it too. Tony Hawk's Pro Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, for the PlayStation 2. One of the first Tony Hawk games I've actually owned. Uh, this is really good. At first I thought it was okay, but over time I started to appreciate it more and more and more. You get to play as Django Fett in this, and you get to play as all kinds of secret characters. You get to play in a, a s amusement park. It's pretty cool. It's This is the last game in the Tony Hawk series before they kind of reinvented the whole, you know, open world kind of... I mean, this was sort of open world, but Underground, I think, did open world a little different. I guess that's how. I guess that's how I'm trying to explain it. I think I even still have the receipt for this. Yes, I do. When did I buy this? Uh, 2006. Yeah. That was a while back. That's 15 years. Yeah, 2006 for 9.99. Insane. Anyway, uh, there's the art disc art right there. Speaking of Lego Star Wars, Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. This is better than the first one in my opinion a lot more characters and it's based on the OG you know f Star Wars films so what's not 
not to love about it. Uh, if you actually have your original save file from the first LEGO Star Wars, you get to play like all the Star Wars characters from the first one. So it's, they kind of did the complete saga before the complete saga, which I found interesting. Anyway, there's the manual and the disc. I also have this game on PC, but the PS2 version is the better port. Just trust me. But yeah, I don't know if I'll get any of the new LEGO Star Wars. They might be good. I don't know. <sighs> but we'll see. Headhunter. Made by Acclaim. Very interesting game, but it's one of those puzzle games that makes you figure out how to get through the level. And while it isn't bad, it is. it can be difficult to figure out sometimes. But it is really good. And the combat's really, really well done. You get to do all these like cool stealth missions and driving missions. It's really good. It's really good. Kind of wish more games were like it. There's the disc and the manual. This it says this game is rated M for mature. It doesn't deserve that rating. It's more like a T for T rating, if you ask me. Yeah, interesting game. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 2003 uh, game, made by Konami. Uh, I pref this is probably one of my favorite T Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games. Uh, I prob I prefer this one over the um, like the later ones, but it's still a good time. I rented this back in 2005 on the Xbox at Blockbuster and then I bought it for a PS2. It's a good beat-em-up. I might do a gameplay of it one day, you never know. There's the manual and there is the disc. I will say though, it's got one of the creepiest game over screens you will ever see in your life. Don't believe me? Look it up. It's like it could scare a young kid. Like, I'm not even kidding. Look it up if you don't believe me. Onimusha? Warlords? I think that's how you pronounce it. A hack and slash kind of adventure puzzle game. This is the first in, like, the series. I, I've never played any of the others, but feel free to tell me in the comments how those are. But yeah, this is really good. Except there are times where you have to try to figure out where to go and where to do stuff. It doesn't explain it that well, but it isn't bad. It was cheap, uh, and it was a good time. The boss battle is probably one of the harder, hardest like game parts of a game I've ever played. One of these days I'll play the others. There's the manual, and there's the disc. When this game come out? 2001, okay. But yeah, good game. Nicktoons Battle for Volcano Island. One of the later ones games in the Nicktoons series. This is probably my favorite, honestly. Um, no, you know what? Um, Attack of the Toy Bots, I think that's what it's called. That's probably my first favorite, but this is probably my second. Uh, basically play as all the Nickelodeon characters and fight your way through this volcano monster. It's good. Really love it. Beat it 100%. Not like a year or two ago. I also have it on the Game Boy Advance as well. One of the first PlayStation 2 games I ever owned. Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. Very, very cool game. You play as Hulk and you get to destroy a bunch of crap. Very good. And the story is well done for a Hulk game. Uh, people prefer this over the 03 Hulk game. And I have to say... It's, 
it's different, but I don't know which one I prefer. I probably prefer this one, but it's not a bad purchase. There's the manual and there's the disc. I looked online and it seemed like this game has sort of become somewhat hard to find. So, I don't know how true that is, but yeah, I've owned this game since like 2005, so yeah. RTX Red Rock. A space platformer adventure game. That's really I can say. It takes place in 2103, which would be a hundred years after this game was originally released. Uh, you play as this guy and go on Mars and you get to shoot people, like shoot enemies and stuff. There's this part in the game I'm stuck on that's kind of glitched and I can't even complete the game. So I'll probably have to replay the whole game. It's I didn't get that that like that much far into it, but it's still, you know. I got it out of I got this at a game store a video store that was closing down, much like uh Abinusha or whatever. But yeah. Great game, great uh combat. I recommend it. It's kind of obscure. Not really a lot of people talk about it. Speaking of obscure games, not a lot of people talk about. Fantavision. A launch title, I believe, on the game uh, PS2. It's just a simple... One of those games you play that's just like... Try to pass the time, you know. Like, you just click on stars and that's really it. It looks nice, and for a game that came out in 2000 especially, it's beautiful. Here's the manual and the disc. Once again, uh, the, this game and the next sh game I'm about to show, I also got at a uh, closed down video store. I don't even know why I still have this the game. ESPN Winter Games Snowboarding. One of the worst sports games, extreme sports games I've ever played. A lot of people say that one from 2002 is better, which I can't really prove, but the thing is, is that the controls on this are just so sticky and so slow. <laughs> like, you can't control like a tank in this game. Eh, whatever. I have it, but yeah. There's the disc. It's kind of shiny like a Game Boy or a Japanese PlayStation 2 disc, which is really cool. Kind of wish more games did that in the US. There's the manual. I don't really recommend it, but it's there, you know. Guitar Hero. I love this game. The first one's brilliant. I even have the guitar still. In fact, I think I have that one right there. Uh, I really wish that they made more, but, you know, I understand fads die and people move on, but it was great for its time. I want to do a gameplay of it, but the thing is that it's got a lot of copyrighted music, however, the thing is, is that they, they're covers of the original songs done by the development team, so they're not exactly the same songs. But, you know, they're similar. So I might be okay. I don't know. But yeah, this is the first one. And here's the second one. I prefer this one, probably. This is the best one to me. I haven't beaten it on Expert, though. I'm trying, though. Practice makes perfect. I like playing all the songs on it. Best music game of 2005. Well, this came out in 06, but you know what I mean. Like the bonus songs too. There's the disc and the manual. And Guitar Hero Encore rocks the 80s. Which is basically two, just like with different skins and different songs. It's really good though. Here's the manual. There's the disc. This one's probably my second favorite one. I don't know. It's got some like a little poster. Yeah. Yeah. There is the poster.
There's the manual and the disc. And last but not least, Dragon Rage. You play as this dragon, you burn people, and it's fun. I am stuck at a part though where you're trying to save this one like group of people. But I'll beat it one day. Once again made by 3DO, the same people who made the Army Men series. They did a great job with this. There's the manual and there's the disc. Anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, glad you all like these collection videos. Uh, see you in the next part.